Yo, what's up guys? Today I'll be showing you how to make 3D text on iOS. So before we get started, make sure to subscribe and like the video. So anyways, let's get it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open Pixar. Take some time. You want to go down to color backgrounds and press the transparent image and just press next. And then save. Just so you have a transparent image and you don't need to worry about it. And now you want to open Fonto. Press the camera photo albums and then add the thing. And then you have it, just press it, press the screen. And you should add text and then write your text. I'm just going to write text obviously. And then you have so many fonts you can add on that font and other apps. So I'm just going to make use lemon and milk. And then all you want to do is make it in the middle as big as you want. And then save as a PNG as a PNG and now you want to open Ibis Paint X uh, this is on iOS I'm not sure if it's on Android but on Android you can already uh, make 3D text doesn't matter about this I'm just gonna press some random stuff press done it doesn't matter this, I don't know why they ask you to do it and you want to press my gallery then press the plus button and then you want to just press ok Okay, now you want to press the three squares. You want to press the transparent black image. And then you want to go out. And no, no, no. Now you want to press the camera. You see the camera. You want to press that and then import your uh, uh, text. Okay, now what you want to do is just put it in the middle. It takes a couple of seconds. I think it's already in the middle. It doesn't matter about this. You can press OK. Just press X again. Okay, now you want to go to filter. It's just above the one. Okay, now you just want to keep going until you find extrude par par parallel. See, there's so many effects here as well. There's this, there's this. There's a lot. There's a lot more that you can do. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna forget about this for this video. I'm just gonna go to. Wait. I'm just gonna go to extrude parallel, and you can see you wanna make the depth as much as you want. As much. It can be. A, as big and as small as you want and then you can also change the angle you see I'm just gonna leave it like this you can copy my settings okay now smoothness you can change it it's like the curve from the angles you can change that and you can also change the highlight size it takes some time if you want to find the best color I'm just gonna take my time looking for it and at the end I'll show you Now, I think this is the best one for me. You can just copy that as well. Now you can see this is a 3D text. This is now a lot more you can do. You can also do extrude perspective if you want to do that. It's basically another way of doing it. Okay, now what you want to do is go and save it. However, let me just first show you some of the effects. This is the, some of the effects are very similar to uh, Pixar, and but there's still a lot of effects that you can do over here. So yeah, okay, you can also do glitch. You can also do this uh, anime background. It looks pretty sick, and it depends if you wanna if you, where you're putting it. So you can customize it as much as you want. There's a lot of customizations that you can put. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is save it. You see the arrow in the far right. What you wanna do? 
press it. And you want to press save as transparent PNG. Not PNG. And then you want to open Pixar, and you should already be on a transparent image. You just want to uh, press apply. Uh, just want to press apply and add a, a picture, the the three D text. And now you can put it uh, wherever you want it. Just want to put it in the middle. I don't see why you want to put it anywhere else. I'm just gonna put it in the middle. Maybe make make it a little bit smaller so that the edges are not out. And I think, yeah, I'm gonna find that. Now we want to press the shadow and then put the blur opacity to the max and then put these horizontal vertical to zero and then press white. And then just this. You don't have to do it, but I prefer it. And then when it goes to effects, there's so many effects you can do. The smart blur, uh, you can do whatever you want with it. I know a lot of people already use it, so you can do that. I'm not gonna use it in this one, but yeah. You can just mess around, do whatever you want. It's just up to you. It's preference. But now what I'm going to do is go to colors and I press colorize. I'm just going to, it doesn't matter what color, you can change it at the end. Change it, I'm just going to put like any vibrant color. And then I'm going to go to hue and I can change it to whatever I want. Um, uh, you can de see, I'm just going to do like a kind of bluish color. You can see you can change the some of the stuff and now you have it here you want to go to saturation i'll put it at max it's a nice vibrant you see you can just customize a lot the smart blur is probably the best one it, it changes a lot and it makes it really look really good but i'm not gonna use this But there's a lot of customization, so it's gonna take time to find the ones that you prefer, prefer the most. So you can do whatever you want for that. I'm trying to find the best one, it's quite hard to do it. But yeah, I'll just forget about it. Okay, now just gonna look around. Okay, now that's what I want to show you. After this, now you can see neon and all that. But there's something I want to show you. That what you're able to do, and you can just change the uh, and you make it good. But let's just first look at the artistic. You can change this yeah, if you want to have like some game or something. You can make it like that. You can go to all these stuff. also do see you can do this that whatever this is like artistic boy has the most options look look at comic that looks sick to be honest that looks sick let's have this there's so many options so it's basically just preference also see play still too also looks nice but I'm not going to choose any. You can also do magic. Magic's probably like the worst one. Some options, but like it's not the best. And it doesn't look professional and clean, you know. You can also go to. And there's also a lot of other options on blur. But now, this is what I want to show you. You want to go to pop art. You can also change the thing. Pop art probably has the best textures and all that. And gradients. It's also off the grid, you can customize that as well. I'm just checking all of them and showing the customizations that you can do. But this is the one I want to show you. Color, gradient. I just want to press that. And now, look how many you can do. It makes it a lot more cleaner, and you can customize as much as you want. So a lot of colors you can do. I'm just going to choose my two favorite colors. Red and blue. The set color 2 and color 1. I'm going to make it red and blue. It's like kind of light red and you also do this it doesn't look the best obviously but you can you can just choose any you see this is very vibrant it's very colorful and you also can change the hue i'm gonna just choose i think yeah i think this looks the best wait yeah this one but you see this is like very vibrant that looks nice it looks really good 
but all I'm gonna choose is that is this one. Uh, where is it? 317. And press apply, go back to effects, go to colors, and go to saturation and saturate it as much as you want. I'm gonna do around 84, 85, and you can see there's a lot of other stuff you can change with that. And after that, you're done. Now what you wanna do is just save it. Download photo, and then you're done. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, the next video will be a reacting video. So, see you guys. Peace.